Today we'll look at Google Sheets and creating, creating a checkbook register to keep track of purchases. Um, I don't use a checkbook, but I need to keep track of the purchases that I make and um, what I spend online and stuff. So it's handy to create this to keep a running total of what I spend. So um, even if you don't use checks, this comes in handy. So the first thing that we're going to do is come up here and name your spreadsheet. So this is going to be checkbook register. And if you've never been in Sheets before, this looks pretty standard, whether or not it's Excel or Sheets, the layout's pretty, pretty similar. The way that it works is you have columns going up and down. Um, vertically and then you have rows going horizontally. You can move those if you go in between the the um, columns. You have your columns are letters and your rows are numbers. If you go in between the two you'll see your um, mouse turn into arrows and it'll have arrows going out and that means that you can either go um, right or you can go left. So if you just click and you can drag to make that bigger, the area of each rectangle is called a cell. So if you click and drag, you can make that cell bigger. And so you can go um, left or right, and then you can come down here to your um, rows and you can go up and down. So you can drag this and you can make that bigger. So now instead of having one of these little cells, you can have one of these bigger cells. So that's how you can resize area. Um, you can either do that or you can merge cells, which means instead of making the area bigger, you can take several and you can put those together. So if I click in each one of these cells, if I click and drag, you can see those highlight. And then if I come down, see how they're blue? You can come over here to one of these options. And this, if you look, if you just hover over it, all of them will tell you what they, all of the options will tell you what they are. And this one is called Merge Cells. So what that does is it takes it from being individual cells and it makes it into one big cell. So if I click on this, keep your eye on all of those highlighted cells, I'm going to click and you notice instead of a whole bunch of little boxes, now you have one large box. So all of your other boxes underneath are still there, just this one is bigger. So if you, if I undo, see how if I were to make that one um, column bigger, it stretches everything else underneath it. So there are a lot of times when you don't necessarily want to do that and you would want to merge. So that's just really fast about some rows and columns and merging some stuff together, which is really a defining characteristic about um, sheets, um, playing around with those rows and columns and merging stuff to make it look how you want. The next thing that you'll want to do before you get started is go up here to your toolbar and familiarize yourself with the stuff that's up here. When you work in docs, you'll see that a lot of it is similar, but there's a lot of stuff that has to do with numbers because Sheets is primarily for numbers. In docs, you're primarily typing papers. It is for documents. Um, in Sheets, you are primarily using this to work with numbers. So there are some things up here that you're going to see that are specifically for numbers. But the rest of this stuff, if you just kind of look through here, you're going to see are very similar to what you see in Docs. Um, so it's pretty familiar. So if you keep coming, um, this is your borders option. So right now you can see all these little things. Again, they're called cells. Um, these are your borders. So you can see the cells, but they're not really there. Um, they're just gray. If I were to go right here and click on the borders, 
um, I can choose what I want to be able to see. And if I just click this first one, once they turn black, then they're actually there. So as long as they're gray, that's just the outline of the cell. It's not until they're actually black that you can really see them. So I'm going to go ahead and undo. So that's your borders. Here we have our guy, the merged cells. And then here we have our alignment, which we're used to. Um, these two are something that I use all the time. Um, this is vertical align, but what that means is where is your stuff going to be in the cell? So this means it's going to be at the top and this is the middle and this is the bottom. So if I go right here and I just type my name right there, it just looks normal. But if I make this bigger, um, see, I have, um, it's just at the bottom right now. So if I choose, oops, I need to select that. If I choose the top, it's going to jump up there to the top, center, or bottom. So you can choose, if I go to choose center align, and then I can go right here, and then all my stuff is right there in the middle. So, um, and then here you have your text wrapping. So if I go, and if I want to type more in here, this is kind of funky about um, sheets, I have to either double click and it will select it again, or I can go up here, which kind of reminds me of a website URL, but you can go up here and start typing. So double click, and if I go like this, it will make this a long line. But if I don't want it to be a long line, I can find where that cell is. There it is. Um, and I can go up here to my text wrapping and it will show me either overflow, wrap, or clip, which means it won't show it. So I want this to wrap and then it just all stays in that cell. So that's another neat little thing. And then here are some other options that you can look at and take some time on later. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean that up a little bit and get us back. Okay. So the checkbook register, what we're going to do is we are going to put our options up here at the top. And what we want first is our date. So we're going to type date. And then I just use my arrow keys on my keyboard. So I hit over and then we'll do um, number for check number. You can just do number or you can do check number. I guess I should put check number. Okay, and then memo. Memo means what it was for. What did you spend your money on? Um, information about it. Um, has it cleared? So has it cleared the bank yet? Is it, was it a debit? Or was it a credit? A debit means that money came out of your account. A credit means that money went into your account. And the last column is going to be your balance. Okay, so at the top, you want to make this another color just so you can tell it's not part of your running total or anything. So just choose a color, whatever you want it to be. And then we'll make the words stand out, make them bold, alignment matters, all that good stuff. And then you can freeze this row so that it doesn't move anywhere. So I think it's under format. I always do the wrong one. Oh, view and then freeze one row. There you go. And so now I don't have anything on there, but you can see over here on the side, there's this big thick line here. And then you can see right over here as I scroll up, those are moving and then our um, row right here is staying there. So there we have that. Um, so we can go in and put some information in there um, and pretend 
we have some stuff in there. Okay, so I have some information in there, and I'm going to go ahead and make the memo a little bit bigger so that I have a little bit more room to write in here. Um, I put some deposits, some um, checks and stuff. I'm just going to say that this was to Josh. Um, this was um, an online purchase from Amazon because that would be a shocker. Um, this one was to Circle, if I can spell, and this probably wouldn't be a shock to say it was from Jane.com for some more shopping. And, oops, pay heck, 9.17.17, and we'll say that this was a paycheck. Okay, so we can say that that's cleared. Okay, so this is all money, so you can come right here and highlight all of this, and you should be able to click that, and it will automatically all turn to money. And now the neat thing is that you can use formulas in Sheets, so um, don't let them be too scary. What you do is you use the, the cells and the rows to create your formulas, okay? So... Um, the first one that you're going to do is going to be different than everything else. So what you do is you do equals because this cell is going to equal and it's going to be minus E2, okay? Um, let's see. Let's make sure that's right. Yep, I think we're good. So E2 plus... Oops, plus F2, okay, and then hit equals. So what we did is we took E2, which is right here, it's empty, and then we put plus F2. So our debit is empty, and then we put plus our credit, which means our balance is $300. So the rest of these are going to be something different. So they're going to be equals, and then we need to do G2. So we're taking our $300 that we have up here, and we are going to do minus E3, which is our debit that we have, so we're subtracting things. And then we are going to do plus our $300 balance, so F3, so plus F3. So once we subtract 275, or once we subtract 25, that means we have 275. So what we want to do is we're going to take our mouse and click right here and see this little square right there? You're going to click and drag all the way down. Just do a whole bunch. And that will give you a running total. So see, we have our 275 here, and then when you subtract 1267, that gives you a balance of 262. Subtract 50, and that's your balance. Subtract 3889, here's your balance. Then we added 1,000. So here it is. So as you keep going down, any time you add or subtract any money, it is going to adjust the amount right here. So if we add 500, it adds the amount. So that is how you would create your own checkbook for